chance time, everybody feel fine. And I enter the stadium, what a long line. Every school turn up, them in a them prime. Ready for go win the medal, them with a shine. Stadium park from bleachers to grandstand. With coaches and teachers, cheerleaders with pam pam. Who no win no gold medal? A silver or a bronze one. Beat them bad like you see in in a London. The performance my school deliver. Down the flank like them a do pan the river. Grandstand wave your school flag like a propeller. Bleachers, signal your team, use your umbrella. Fans are get wild and nobody can calm them. Can you hear me? Yes, do the whistle and the hand. Who will lift the Martin McGinnis Trophy? We're at the entrance of the National Stadium. We're going inside where the action will be on the trap. The action will also come from the sponsors and the spectators. Grace Kennedy and Western Union. What do they have in the champs? What have they put into champs to make it a success? The organizers, ISA, the fans, who do they come to celebrate and cheer on? It's all happening inside. Come with us as we take the journey with the sponsors inside the National Stadium. The 100th and 7th staging of the ISA Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championship. Come on. I'm a case you all boy, I'm a represent to the fullest. 2,500 attention, I'm a come champ. I'm not on our suit alone. Tell me what you think happened yesterday with Madison. Honestly, you know things happen, people get injured, but nevertheless, it's what is forever. The brain may fall, but never heal. Basically, anybody who's repping any particular school, um, Grace has brought us in to do basically designs with their brand, Licious, Grace, and MP. So I went to Edna Manley, then left Edna Manley, talked a little bit, then I got an opportunity to go to Brockport, loved the art right through, did it, went into theatre, came back home, and uh, we both started this company, and uh, from children to adults, let us love it. Your 400-meter class one clash with Usain Bolt that should have been that never happened. What was that like for you? And how do athletes feel after going through so much and then to have that big disappointment? I mean, it's always tough, but um, my advice enough for the athletes. Uh, in high school, I mean, yes, you want to compete well for your school and you want to compete in front of your friends and your family, but if you want to take it seriously and to the next level, it's something that you have to think about and know that you don't push yourself, you know, and um, first that damage to your, your senior career. But it's always difficult because this is what we're used to. This is where we want to perform. And, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult. You know, I see a lot of the athletes cry when they get injured. And I, and I feel the pain because myself has been through the similar experience. And I know it's tough, but you have to think about the future sometimes. You know, that was one of the mistakes I made in champs where I competed when I shoot up, when I have a, a slight niggle. So, you know, that's my two cents to the, to the younger athletes. Started doing track and field really late, but as you know, champs is the foundation, you know, for a lot of the great athletes. So for me, it was a, a good experience. It's, it's something that built me, you know, to progress to the World Championship by the Olympics, because the atmosphere is, is the same or even more intense sometime here. It has been great because my school is like I was really performing, and I remember I used to be on a track team, and we didn't really have a big track team per se, so I feel good now, knowing that I'm a past student, and we're actually doing good on the track. So big up to the second in high family. The fans really nice because with the rule changes and everything, everybody's just on their toes. As a race finish, you have to be here in the point stand. It's not long like before you're here, people winning by 100 points. So it's more interesting now because everybody has to be competing at their best so that, you know, their school can come up. So, uh, thank you, Lord. Pay some bills. We'll be right back.
Let's go. Go. Hey. 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 Time everybody feel fine and I enter the stadium. What a long line! Every school turn up them in a them prime, ready for go win the medal. Them with a shine. Stadium back from bleachers to grandstand. We coach it and teach it. Welcome back to the 107th staging of the Easter Grace Canada Boys and Girls Athletics Championship. It's the sponsors of program. Of course, without Grace Kennedy, this would not have been possible. In this segment, we'll have your Lance Levy, Cheesy Communications and Sponsorships Manager for Grace Kennedy. Financial services. This is the section where the Kingston College fans are. It's rocking, it's jumping, it is noisy. Your land is the communications and the sponsorship manager for GK Money. And she's going to tell us a little about her brand and the services that they have to offer. Tell us about GK Money. Grace Kennedy Money Services. Hey, ladies. The time of 21.44 seconds. We money transfer company and Bill Express FX Traders. And they're always all together in one place, so it's like a one-stop shop. One-stop shop for all your money services needs. And there is a new thing that GK Money has going on where you can use your phone. You don't have to use physical cash. Tell us what that's called and how you go about doing that. Sure, so that's GKM Pay. It's our mobile wallet. We just launched that in February. And as you said, you know no, you no longer need cash. You just use your phone. Your mobile phone replaces your wallet. First of all, we're encouraging everybody go out and register. Look for, look for participating, participating agent locations which are at certain Western unions, right? What you do, you walk with your phone, you walk with your TRN, and you walk with a government-issued picture ID, a valid government picture ID, such as your driver's license, your passport, or your, elect your national ID, and we will, register, we will register you. And from there, you put cash on your phone, and you no longer have to worry about walking around with cash. You have your mobile phone, you'll be able to pay over 50 bills. You'll be able to send money to any other mobile user. You'll be able to collect Western Union remittance on your phone. And I want you to tell me about the partnership that Grace Kennedy and Issa has for Boys and Girls Jobs. So we have been we have been sponsors. Grace Kennedy has been trying to sponsor us. And we've had this relationship ongoing for the past 10 years. It's been a wonderful relationship. It's been how we give back as a group of companies to developing Jamaica. The Boys and Girls, it's a, it's a Boys and Girls Championship is the most successful and longest running high school championship in the world. So of course, a company like Grace Kennedy will have to be on board with something like that. And here we are, representing again for the 10th year. So tell me about this 10-year partnership you have going with Grace. Well, excellent. It is one of the best partnerships we have ever forged. And um, when you say Hello. partnership, no, later, that's come it. Here, come here, come here. We go beyond here, even the financial. Here, we have come four here, relationships in terms of nice how to plan, how to. So they, we have benefited here. from come each other so much over the years. Chances over 100 years old. How important it is that the sponsorship continues for it because it's one of few high school events that do get sponsorship. It is extremely important because the vast majority of these kids that compete at Champs are from lower economical backgrounds and sponsorship is needed you know, for nutrition, education, health, fitness, the whole spectrum of what it takes to compete at Champs. So it is important for the sponsors to continue to support the schools, to support ISA, to do whatever it is that they could possibly do for this to continue because the help is, it is desperately needed. How pleased are you to see the likes of even non-traditional schools like the Edwin Ali, we saw us called in when the sprint medley. How pleased are you to see that? I'm very, very happy about that. The extreme dominance of particular schools is no more. The non-traditional schools are coming in and they're taking points that usually would go to these larger schools. I'm very, very happy about that, that it's been spread among pretty much everyone. So, you know, schools that I'm like, where is that school? Because I've never heard of them, but they're here and they're in the finals and they're running and they're doing well. So it's just The 
in Jamaica, but Chad, boys and girls have merged together and since then it has been spectacular. The, the performances of this game, the execution from the first day has just been pretty much on target. What we planned for, we have executed. Now, Yolanda, how are you enjoying the championship so far? I'm loving it. What a run a while ago in the 1500 meters class two. Oh my God, that was nail biting. I loved it. Welcome back to the Easter Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championship. Boy, let me tell you, the athletes are having a blast, the fans are having a blast, and the sponsors are having a blast. How oh, did Grace Kennedy get involved in the Easter Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Champs? We're going to find out. of the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championship. Of course, it could not be possible without the sponsors. And I have here with me from Grace Kennedy, David Reed. He, he is the business development manager. Champs is really a major project for us. And it is our single largest sponsorship. We've been doing it now for 10 years. And it has gotten bigger and better every single year. So that means more work for the team. Um, exciting, electrifying with all of what is happening here today. But there are a lot of people behind the scenes doing the work to make this possible and to make it happen. A whole lot of people planning for champs can't be done in one week or a month something that basically you start planning for the next champs from so the end Matthews 11, 7, 3, of the in second. So we start to meet, we discuss the areas that we need to address. There are certain critical areas that we have to deal with that we plan how either we're going to execute them better or little tweaks that need to be done or any circumstances that have changed that we have to be flexible with and try to fit it. So there is a meeting, there is a planning, there is an organizing, there is, um, we have a lot of Turn partners once again that we have to place with in order to be able to execute it. 
in this particular. It's for the boys um, class three one hundred meters. Organizations like Lucas main Hill. event and I print the meter record ten point eight five seconds. Set there are major players in Mattison. execution of chance. Kingston College. Um, we have people doing a whole range of activities because we provide food and beverage. We're the food There's and beverage sponsor for champs. So our involvement in terms of the work that we Advancing do with the vendors that are accredited, with the concessionaires who Javar operate the stands Granville. here. So there's a lot of details, a lot of moving parts to try and put it together. In lane two. So that by the time champs the comes time around, then it's almost like muscle memory. From Jamaica that you're College, able to just go and do what you do.
for the athletes and for the show to continue. So good job to Grace, um, kudos, and hopefully they can continue to increase the, the sponsorship and, and also expand it into the classroom with the athletes. Grace Kelly is doing a good job, Flo is doing a good job, Kuba is doing a tremendous job. Track and field in Jamaica is at a high standard right now. It's a pinnacle of our high school kids here. John, four by four, boys down to whoever win this wins champ. What were your thoughts? Well, as a quarter mile on, when you look at who is on each team and you put it down on the paper, like I wasn't really concerned. I already knew the result. You know, Calabar had um, Christopher Taylor and Anthony Carbisa, so it's it's just a matter of getting the stick to the finish line. Well, if you know them, I always say, a lion, you know, Calabar, a lion. Everybody know a lion is the king of the jungle. We run with the heart. We don't only run with the foot. You know what I'm saying? We run with the heart. Calabar champion, East of Race Kennedy Boys, 2017. I would hope that our engagement in activities like Champs would help to make it so, but it's also the fact that the products and the services that are offered by Grace Kennedy and by Grace Foods in particular that we strive to keep relevant with the Jamaican people. And these are our people, we are a Jamaican company for Jamaicans. Thank <laughs> you. 